Hello. Hello. Today, today I shall I shall convert a variable, convert a non-stationary variable into stationary using June box test and today I shall be using the R software and the R software is free online and if you want you can download it from online <coughs> okay so so first I have to uh, so 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 th this is my R software you can see R is here so I have to first install the package so I just uh, so here I am writing the command to install the package and the package name is T series and the bracket is close so this is my package I enter T series package I enter okay then I select my area right I select my area then okay okay then the package is now being uploaded downloaded <coughs> okay after that I have to write library and the T series is the package I have to write it okay enter okay then uh, then I have to find out the data so I have to write the command this way my data then talk about read CSV because my file is CSV in nature and my file is located at C drive and the folder is uh, folder is icon 1 and the file name is uh, is is lot and it is CSV nature so then bracket close yes okay now I can enter okay then I have to attach my data okay so it has been attached okay now I want to see my data okay so first I write my file name which is lot then I write read csv then file dot choose then header then true right so that is my command to read the file then enter then you have to find out the file it is located in c drive I'm going to C drive then I'm going to icon 1 it is here right and lot my my file entering lot okay then I have to write the lot enter uh, you can see the data so here year and y y is the variable from 1970 until 2004 right so th this is my data okay now now what I do uh, just one minute okay okay suppose this Y this Y I call it mm, I call it uh, okay now 
what I want to do? I want to convert this y. Okay, so f so first I check whether y is stationary or not. If the y is not stationary, then I have to convert this y into stationary. So, so first I check whether y is stationary or okay so so first I do one thing I take a small y C bind right and I take a big y here that means small y can represent the big y meaning that this one okay then enter okay I think now I am set uh, I am set the whole things okay now I can do the uh, I can do the uh, June box test to check whether this variable is stationary or not okay I can do it now just one minute I am doing it in few minutes. So the formula is box test is coming up gradually just one minute. So the formula is for this one box test by my variable is y then here I take lag 2 lag 2 so normally what is the guideline the guideline is our sample size is 35 right you can see 35 so normally we take one third as lag right normally we take one third as lag so here I take 12 and this 12 is almost one third of 35 so that I have taken here and the type and our statistics is L June box right and bracket close so box, box test Y lag 12 type L June docs okay then press enter to check it the result has come up box June test x squared and the p value right and here for this one what is the null hypothesis null hypothesis just I am saying just hold one minute just one minute I set my hypothesis here so here the null hypothesis is okay data data or y is stationary and alternative hypothesis y is not stationary right so that is alternative hypothesis and here the p value is very small you can see very small so we can reject the null hypothesis and can accept the alternative hypothesis meaning that y is not a stationary variable okay but what I want to do I want to convert this y variable into stationary right so so that I want to do okay so in the so uh, in that case uh, in that case I have to convert y variable into first difference then only I can check it whether first difference of y is stationary or not 
meaning that this y I have to I have to change it to dy meaning that first difference and then I guess this dy would be stationary ok now first I first I convert this y into first difference ok how to convert y into first difference the formula I have to use here y that is my variable first difference y diff 1 that is my command I am writing then after I dff right then my variable y that uh, I want to convert into first difference and you have to write differences how many one so that is the first difference that is why I put here one okay I think the command is ready enter okay after entering y has been converted into first difference and now I want to see the data after converting into first difference so I write y d i f f 1 meaning that same thing I am writing here right then I have to press enter so you can see our new variable so this y now first difference of y you can see this variable is first difference of y right and our new variable is this one after converting into first difference ok now I check whether this new variable is stationary or not so I shall be using the same command as before box test then uh, then what is the command I just double check the command last time we gave the command is here already box test that is y lag 12 type ok so this time so the variable would be uh, y d f f 1 that is my newly created variable and lag I take 12 as before and type is equal to L zoom right as before and enter ok so this is my new this is my command as before enter ok then the result of the box zoom test here you can see statistics is 25.5275 and the p-value is 1.25 percent right ok so here suppose I take 1 percent as a level of significant normally we take 5 percent but suppose here I take 1 percent so so if I take 1 percent here the probability is is 1.25 percent which is more than 1 percent so we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that our first difference data which is y d i i f f 1 is a stationary 
variable okay now uh, now what is going on in time series in time series model in time series model such as var such as var grandeur causality causality and so on so one we need stationary data all the time so here so here actually this data we can we can use it to run our model because this data is a stationary data so so uh, the whole thing is done uh, we know how to convert the variable into stationary using first difference method thank you very much for being with me for a while